going on? It's KC. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. So, I've got a question asking what are the different lease options. So in this video, I'm going to go through the different leasing options. So if you're a beat maker and you want to know what options are best for you when you're selling your beats or your artist trying to buy beats and you, you don't have a clue what these options are or what they mean, I'm going to clear that up for you. So after you've watched this video, you have a better understanding of these different leasing options. So make sure you get pen and paper so you can make some notes because it can get a little bit confusing with all these different options. And just like anything else, you just you make notes, soak it up, soak in the knowledge so you, you're better prepared for next time you're buying beats or you're trying to sell your beats. But first, before we jump into that video, it's only right that I shout out my two new subscribers, Gabe Barnwell and DJ Terror Self in Dodge City. That's a mouthful. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate you both. Hope you find some value from the videos that I've been putting out and I hope that you've hit that notification bell as well so you would have got notified for this video and for future videos. Favourite comment this week? I had quite a few comments, some decent ones. So the one I'm going to go with this week is Sinus Litzau. Hope I've pronounced that right. Sinus Litzau. Bro, I appreciate your comment. It means a lot. Just going to keep providing value and hopefully people will vibe with it. If they do, I appreciate it. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate the comment. Let's dive in. So let me explain what a lease is. A lease just means you're renting a beat with an option to buy. So as a music artist, if you're leasing a beat, this just means that you're leasing the beat, you might have a, a certain amount of units of streams that, you can, that you're can that capped by. So there'll be a limit on the streams and units that you can sell. As a beat maker, you decide on the limit. It's entirely up to you. you it's your business, it's your beat. So you put any number in it that you want to. So you might need a pen. So just jot down some notes on these different lease options that I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna use my website as an example and then probably some other beat makers as well, how they word these different options, leasing options. So for me, I use non-exclusive MP3, non-exclusive WAV, exclusive and track apps on my actual website. So it shows the different the different licensing terms in the lease option. Non-exclusive MP3, non-exclusive WAV can mean for some people basic lease, which would be the MP3, premium, which would be a WAV, two different prices, and an exclusive, which means the beat's exclusive to you. You bought a beat, the beat maker can't sell it on. And then track out lease, which means you have, as a beat maker, you would provide each individual sound that's in that beat so the artist can mix the beat and their vocals so it sounds like a proper song rather than trying to mix it not a proper song but rather than trying to mix the two track stereo file and sit their vocals on well in that mix so let me break down the different leasing options basic lease mp3 that's going to be probably the the lowest price out of the lot it's normally the first option it will have within that lease it will tell you how many sales or streams you can make each producer has a different number it's up to them it's up to you as a beat maker producer what number you want to roll with mine at the moment is 3,000 units that can be sold or streams i can continue to sell the beat to other artists it's the same with the non-exclusive web which can come which can come under premium might be different for some other beat makers i'm just going to stick with producers because it's confusing some producers they might choose to use the word premium which is still non-exclusive wav which is going to cost a little bit more than the basic lease there's also some producers that have the option of unlimited lease which might actually be a good option for artists who just want to lease the beat and i don't want to keep coming back to renew their lease and i think it kind of saves any hassle of trying to keep track of how many sales or streams that this artist has gain from using the beat but then i'm also thinking will it be confusing if someone tries to buy the exclusive so that's another option unlimited lease that way you, the producer doesn't have to chase or keep a track of what the artist is doing with the beat they don't have to come back and renew the beat lease when they hit a certain cap on the streams themselves so that that could be a good option i might have to look into that one myself and then you have exclusive kind of self-explanatory it's not a lease it means the beat's been sold exclusive so once that exclusive beat sold it can't be resold the producer can't sell it on to any other artist. This is normally like a higher price. With leasing, you can continue to lease the beat. And if the beat is a banger and a lot of artists want to jump on that beat, then for some producers, it's more profitable to continue leasing that beat. But if someone wants to buy the exclusive and, you, and the price is high, then it might seem like a better option to sell the exclusive. Some producers don't like to sell exclusives. Some will just continue to, to lease their beats because they can make more money from it. So just to quickly recap, there's basic lease, that means could be an mp3 premium wav a little bit more expensive high priced unlimited lease means you can have unlimited streams and sales prices are going to vary again depending on the producer track apps it's going to cost a little bit more but then you get the individual files to mix 
and master. Then you've got the exclusive that the artist has bought, means the producer can't sell it no, no more, no longer. If it has been leased, then it's always a good idea to let the person know, let the artist know that it has been leased. Just to keep them in a the loop, because I think it's only fair, it's only right that you let them know that the beat's been leased and they should expect to hear other people on it, because you don't want them to think that it's not, there's no other artist on that beat and then they find out that it has been leased. So it's just good business. And it's better to be transparent with the artists that you're working with. Always, always, always. Nuggets. So the different leasing options can vary from producer to producer. And all you need to do is make sure you understand what it is you're doing, making sure that when you're writing up your agreements, that the artist knows what they can, what they can't do. You know what the artist can and can't do. And if there's any problems, it's always an email, or there's always a, a way to find the artist or the producer that's selling the beat to you. I've had a few people, a few artists come to me and asking me questions about beats they bought, and I've always said to them, double check your agreement, see what the artist says you can and can't do. If you can't, most producers are quite easy to, to contact. Um, more time they've got their details on their website, they've got like an email address that you can contact or they're on Insta. So it shouldn't be too hard to find them. But yeah, if you've got any questions or you're not too sure about certain things, drop a comment below, hit me up on Insta. My DMs are always open. Um, always happy to help. So yeah, let's just connect on Insta. I hope this video has helped you. I hope it wasn't too confusing. Like I said, if there's anything you're unsure of, hit me up. I'll break it down for you even further. You like the video at all? It's helped. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button because there's a. I've noticed there's a lot of videos being watched and that, that subscriber button isn't being hit. So if you want to keep up with the stuff that I'm putting out, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I appreciate that. As per usual, I appreciate your time.